What's up, guys? Charge Phase here. Uh, we're bringing you a different type of opening today. You moved out of frame. Oops. Um, I'll move it back like Jude again. Ta da! Still out of frame. Oh. <laughs> One more time. Ta da! One more time. Oh my god. Look at this item now. There we go. Okay, I did that on purpose that last time. <laughs> um, so we have a different type of box opening today. Uh, we are opening a box. A rectangle. Uh, called Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission. Uh, this came out today, and it is for the Nintendo Switch. Um, it is based off of the Japanese arcade game of the same name. Um, you put in, it's basically, if you remember from Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Terminal, you pay a, you know, a dollar, three dollars, whatever it is to play once, you have a duel. Um, and you get cards. And you get cards out of it. This is kind of the same thing in Japan, where you pay however many yen, you play a mission or two with a character you create uh, with Goku and Vegeta or whatever, and then you get a card based off of it. So they import it over to the, to the Switch in America, and uh, with the Hero Edition, which we got here, uh, it comes with a set of five cards, which uh, are closed inside, so we wanted to show you guys that we weren't, uh, weren't fucking around. If I can get uh -oh, this it got demonetized. Frickin' around. That's the word. I mean, you already. I'm pretty sure I've already said some things that were demonetized the video, if you were getting demonetized. But I got yeah. it. So we figured we'd show you guys what was inside, explain each card. There's only two, really. You get one liter and then a set of five. Um, don't show any codes. Don't show any codes. Oh, no. Fine. Well, just because they can steal it. Oh, that's true. Video. So you just have, we'll just have to post it after you redeem it. Yes. Um, Let's take that out just in case. But here's the game. I'll be like that guy. It's like, guys, I got a new credit card. Shows yeah. the back. <laughs> what do you and mean? Here's the back station out? number. <laughs> But, um, so yes, there's the game. Tiny Switch game. And then we have the pack itself. Just this over there. I've yet to try a Switch game. Let's see. I and taste then, it. So that, it shows you on the back. It says that you have one red leader named SSB Gogeta Fusion Transcendent. And then you get four copies of SSB Gogeta Critical Combination. Um, and, and then it, on the back is an advertisement of that for the card game itself. As well as the tutorial app if you don't know how to play. So say you bought this you know, for your kid or whatever and they feel like getting a card game. It's your first time getting into the game show? Yeah, like, it's a good way to start. So, you know, this is a card game? We should try that out. Yeah. But... I mean, maybe we could make a YouTube channel about stuff like that. You're on to playing something. Video games or, or playing card games and whatnot and opening boxes and stuff. Hmm. Not a bad idea, Paul. We'll try and go through that later. After this video, we may start up a card channel just saying... <sighs> We'll name it Mana. We'll, we'll name it, um, what should we call it? We'll, we'll call it uh, Energy Placement. <gasps> energy Placement phase. Oh my god. Actually, the foil is pretty nice on this. It's not bad. Flip it over. Flip it. Yes. Flip it over. So the Auto Awaken side we have... is Super Saiyan Gogeta. Auto, when this card attacks a leader, draw one card. And this card gets plus five power for the duration of the turn. Awaken when you're, when you're five less... Five or oh, wow. reading upside down is hard. When your life is five at uh, five or less, you may untap one and draw one, awaken, and switch this. Right, so you get you know, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta Fusion Transcendent. It gains double strike, and when this card attacks, draw one card, and once per turn, I get to kill one of your opponent's cards that has ten thousand or less attack power. It's an all right, leader. Uh, we I was excited because I thought it was regular Gogeta, but it's Gogeta BR, so no Soul Punisher this time. You know, hilarious. I just thought you could play the Finisher Freezer with this. The Finisher Freezer. Uh, surprise Attack Freezer is that the card? The oh, Freezer the Finisher that wipes everything. No, the, the it's like when your opponent, one of your opponent's cards is KO'd, you play a card. This is a guarantee. Oh, yeah, you could, you yeah. could do that. To guarantee surprise it, it attack. Because it is a KO. And then we have our four copies of Critical Combat Gogeta Super Saiyan Blue. Uh, let's see. I'm not even gonna. No, there's it. four of them, so you can use one of them. Yeah, it has triple attack, uh, dual attack, and permanent. If your triple leader... attack and dual attack. <gasps> That's really good. That's powerful. If it's your leader is this, it's a red Gogeta BR. And your life is at two or less. Reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by four. You may play only up to one of these cards in your battle area. Uh, it's a really strong card. Um. I mean, it, well, it says if you're losing a Gogeta BR. Yeah, that's the only limiting part, but... You could play with the Gogeta BR you're playing with right now. Yeah, you can play with this, or you can play with the uh, Fusion Perfection, I think yeah, it's called. the one from Set 6. Yes. But uh, this card is uh, pretty good. Uh, personally, I would play 1 to 2. Yeah. Because, honestly, the uh, burn is still good no matter what. You crit burn them. That's really strong. But either way, I actually really want to try these guys out, because triple attack, triple strike dual attack is... Uh, Pretty, uh, well, pretty it's, as we saw with, what do you call it? Um, as we saw with your... Oh, wait, no, did you play the Height of Mastery Shenron on the channel? 
I don't think so. I don't think I did. I don't know. Well, anyway, Paul played that variant, and he showed us giving a dual attacker uh, triple strike is pretty good. So if you just do that. Oh, yeah. Yes. First attack. Shen attack five times. Again and it's again and again. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so. But, yeah, this is uh, this is the promos that you guys get. Um, yeah, for so. someone playing the game, hope it's fun. Yeah, it came out today, so if you guys want to get one, uh, we probably rec- we would recommend it. Why Definitely, not? yeah. It's a, it looks like a fun game. It's a fun way, it's a fun way just to turn your brain off and play Dragon Ball as Dragon Ball U. It's fan service the game, so anything yeah. you probably thought was a fusion probably exists in this game. Yep. So with that, this is Charge Face signing out. Ciao.